Hello everyone, I'm Cloud and welcome to Anime Nomi. In today's video we will continue talking about chapter 1045 of One Piece. This time we will talk about the complete events of this chapter. Now we have access to the entire chapter. We already know a lot of news such as the emergence of a new transformation of Luffy, the emergence of new techniques and abilities of Luffy, the real form of his new transformation, among other very interesting events. And I already count on your help to leave your like in the video to support the channel. I also hope you subscribe if you're still new here and leave your comments saying your opinions and what the next videos you want to see here on the channel now let's go to the video guys chapter 1045 of one piece begins with a view from the top of onagashima kaido tells luffy that he thought he had lost his life during the previous confrontation but he realized he was wrong even so luffy agrees with kaido saying that he also thought it was the end of his life at that moment so he started laughing jumping up with his legs pointed up kaido starts analyzing luffy's powers saying that he possessed the power of a paramecia awakening because everything Everything he touched turned into rubber, but there was something very strange with the power of Luffy's fruit. Even demonstrating Paramecia's awakening power he managed a unique transformation of a Zoan user. While saying these words, Kaido attacks Luffy who was distracted. Kaido opens his mouth and devours Luffy. The straw hat tries to stop Kaido from devouring him. He starts to force Kaido's mouth not to close. But Kaido manages to swallow Luffy. But something strange starts happening in Luffy's belly. As a giant ball Luffy jumps into Kaido's belly, attacking the Yonko from inside his body. Luffy uses his Goma Goma no Fusen, his belly inflates with it turning into a big ball. When doing this, Kaido feels a great pain in his body as he is also inflated along with Luffy's body. Kaido gets very angry and starts yelling at Luffy. We then see a bigger view of Kaido, his belly was with a giant ball inside, while his body was still proportional. Momonosuke and Yamato who were watching this confrontation are very scared as they didn't know what was happening as they weren't able to follow this fight from the beginning. Momonosuke asks what was happening in that battle and especially with Kaido, but Yamato Yamato then replies that he didn't know either. Kaido was being very affected by Luffy and Yamato had never seen him use a transformation like that. Kaido looks at his belly and asks what Luffy was doing. Kaido's dragon body wasn't made of rubber to stretch like his. Luffy inside Kaido's belly can see two lights. He stretches his arms in the direction where the light was coming. His arms come straight out of Kaido's eyes and then he holds Kaido's nose. Kaido is completely scared because he didn't understand anything. Luffy managed to pass through Kaido's body as if he had an intangibility as a Logia user has. After all Luffy was able not only to manipulate Kaido's body but also to pass through Kaido's body without hurting him. With his hand holding Kaido's nose, Luffy uses the Goma Goma no Dasutsu rocket, then allowing Luffy to come out of Kaido's stomach. Luffy was still in his inflated form, looking in Kaido's direction with a big smile. Luffy then released all the air that was in his belly through his mouth, allowing him to quickly rise to the clouds. Kaido still panting starts to wonder what Luffy was doing. So they just hear Luffy say Goma Goma no before he even finishes the sentence. Momonosuke and Yamato are startled by what they were seeing, Luffy ends his sentence saying Gigant. With the new rubber power, Luffy was able to turn into a giant. The straw hat pirate had his foot raised ready to step on Kaido, but the Yonko was not shaken by Luffy's size but quite excited about that fight. Momonosuke starts to wonder who that guy was, why Luffy's voice was coming from him. He questions if that really was Luffy. Before Luffy manages to hit Kaido with his attack the Yonko bites him, Luffy then holds Kaido by the horns and tail, after which Luffy uses a technique to hit Kaido, acting as a jump rope. The two quickly start to fall, but Kaido uses his burrow breath to make Luffy stop spinning him. We see that Luffy was really hit by this skill. With a cry of pain he says he was burning. Yamato is impressed and says that Luffy was hit with Kaido's attack from a short distance. We then see Luffy fully injured falling from Onigashima, but he was still conscious. Annoyed he tells Kaido that he would pay for what he did. Luffy spins his legs quickly forming flames. Quickly he goes to Onigashima, while a large trail of flames appears where he passed. When he gets close to Kaido, Kaido, Luffy spins his arm quickly ready to attack him. But before getting close to Kaido to attack him, Kaido uses a large attack through his kanabo. Kaido hits Luffy in the head with attack, causing Luffy to have his head crashing inside Onigashima's castle. By still remaining in his giant form, Luffy scares all the pirates that were in the place, even his companions. Luffy with a lot of effort manages to get his head that was trapped in that place. When you take it out of that place, it returns to its normal size. Kaido who was in front of him says that it looked like a children's tale. This fight had been a very interesting show, but at the end of the day this is not a dream world, Luffy couldn't defeat him. Luffy tells him to keep quiet, because he hadn't reached the limit, then we see his transformation little by little undoing, his hair and clothes were changing to his original transformation. Also somehow Luffy's face starts to melt, in fact, he was much more elastic than before, completely changing his appearance, in addition to showing great exhaustion, not even Luffy can understand what was happening to his body. From him, Kaido is outraged and asks what was happening to that opponent, but when he says that, he falls to his 
sneeze, they both fall face to face, and at that moment Luffy says that Kaido was right, he almost lost his life, and that was very exhausting. Kaido tells Luffy that he can rest now, as there will be tales about the history of this incredible fight that happened between them, but Luffy says he doesn't want any of that. He didn't mind losing his life at that moment, all he would leave behind would be just his bones. We see Momonosuke and Yamato from afar, Yamato comments that Luffy when he had white hair and clothes even seems to be someone else, Momonosuke says that Luffy's voice was fading, but we see Luffy saying that this battle is not over yet, he starts saying the name of all his friends, as his transformation starts to come back, Kaido watches Luffy as he laughs saying that his rival was losing his life, Luffy asks Kaido if he really thinks losing his life would make him scared, Luffy starts to speed up his heart rate thus regaining all his energy again, the sound of the drum starts to play again, Luffy happily says he made it, that's the sound of his heart, Kaido already with his kanabo ready to attack him tells Luffy to come with everything, Yamato yells for Luffy to be careful, then we see a serious expression of Luffy watching Kaido's kanabo coming towards him, Kaido managed to hit behind Luffy's head, which causes the straw hat pirate's head to take the shape of Kaido's item, Yamato is surprised when we see Luffy running saying he was in a lot of pain, Kaido again uses kanabo, but this time he uses it on the ground, causing a big impact, this causes all nearby things to be thrown into the air, especially Luffy, again Luffy's body is altered, now he was totally crumpled, Luffy is thrown towards a large boulder, but because of this boulder, Luffy manages to get support to get momentum to go towards Kaido again, with his body recovering, he starts to spin quickly, Luffy creates a hurricane of punches that was heading towards Kaido, the Yonko with a serious expression wondered what was happening to this boy, he questioned Luffy's new transformation, where did this power come from, Kaido went on to say that in addition to Luffy combining his Busa Shoko Haki and Haushika Haki, he was using a fighting style so free that it could affect others around him, Kaido says that he had never seen anything like this before, still confident he tells Luffy that there is no one in the world who could defeat him, in saying this we see an unexpected thing happening, Luffy had managed to get past Kaido's defense and land an incredible punch on Kaido's head that was able to pass through him, Momonosuke and Yamato are completely scared as it was the first time that Luffy had managed to deliver a powerful blow to Kaido, this blow that Luffy managed to hit didn't pierce Kaido's face, but this attack did a great deal of damage to Kaido's head as we see Kaido falling backwards after receiving this attack, still with a big smile on his face and with a determined look in his eyes, Luffy tells Kaido that this battle was quite fun and that's how this chapter comes to an end, ending with Luffy finally landing a blow capable of knocking out the great leader of the beasts, this fight is not over yet as a winner has not been declared for this fight so that means that we will still see a great evolution of Luffy using his new transformation called Gear 5, even just playing around, Luffy still demonstrates the ability to defeat Kaido as we see in this chapter Luffy and Kaido are at their limits, although Luffy has the ability to recover his energies whenever he wants, however, by doing this, he will lose his vitality little by little, so this will be a fight of resistance to know who will be able to stay in combat for the longest time as both have the ability to defeat the other, however, the resistance that Kaido and Luffy have, makes it difficult for one of them to have an advantage in combat, what remains is to wait to know who will resist longer in this combat, thanks to all of you for watching the video to the end, I hope you enjoyed the content and information in today's video, we hope that we will always continue together talking about the news of the anime and the manga so comment your doubts news or what you think will happen in the anime in the future also comment on the new videos you want to see here on the channel we'll see you again in the next video i'll wait for you here bye